So the G blues scale. These are all going chromatic on the fifth strings, one fret at a time to get that flat fifth note. Right, and then the extension of that is to come over to the G on the second string here. And then try to work that down by going back this way. So you could go... Okay. And then for each home base, G. For this home base, we've got this great lick. resolve there or you can resolve back onto the home base right and then to extend that a little bit we used our flat seven note here oh. right. and then we went up to this home base so it's using this kind of configuration of this separation of this this is where the, the, the scale separates out from just being one fret apart to being two frets over, you know? So you got that one. And then you could go from the other direction and mix them up. Yeah. Then using this as our home base, we've got the same thing that we were dealing with down here in an octave up. So here, So just sliding that flat fifth back to the fourth, minor third, G, root note. Then, punching that up, back to this guy, hitting that fourth again, then resolving there, right? And then just a simple little lick where you're bending up, down, and resolving to the minor third instead of resolving to the G this time, right? And then with the major pentatonic scale, If you know your G major scale in this position, just think about taking out one, two, three, four, missing four, six, missing seven, one, two, three, missing four, five, six, missing seven, one. Okay? And then the way to mix those things up is to bend that note, the A. And then you can do one of your things up here, you know. So then it then it's up to your creativity to try to sort of put them together in some shape or form, you know? Good.